To live is Christ, to die is gain I ask myself, am I a slave? Working for the finer things in life Cause I don't ever want to lose control Gain this world, lose my soul So free my mind, let me go yeah. Goodbye They tell us toast to the good life Good life, toast to the good life Tell us toast to the good life, good life, toast to the good life. They tell us toast to the good life, good life, toast to the good life. They tell us toast to the good life, good life, toast to the good life. They tell us toast to the good life. Or at least the one advertised. Let that champagne spill, raise some glasses. Hi, my name is John Rua. I'm a professional choreographer and professional actor based out of New York. Uh, I've been in the field roughly 10 years, working professionally on Broadway, on film and TV, and choreographing for various endeavors. Currently, I'm in the Broadway musical Hamilton. I've also done In the Heights and Hands on a Hard Body. I've worked with Fish on a different project, choreographing for a tour. I've pretty much been a contributing choreographer on various Broadway shows such as Hamilton, In the Heights, On Your Feet, Bring It On, Hands on a Hard Body. I've helped with Sean T on Hip Hop, uh, I believe on Insanity. I've worked with him, I've worked with Lauren Lutaro, Sergio Trujillo. Um, I've also been teaching at Broadway Dance Center for many years, spreading my voice, which is called The Grit. Uh, currently, I'm going to be choreographing Aida at the Muni in St. Louis, so uh, it's going to be good to come back and be a fan of St. Louis. And I'm going to be doing what I do, which is pretty much speaking a new voice and using a new vessel for storytelling, inspired by hip-hop, funk, and organic raw movement. I, was, uh, I went to school for public relations communications at Rutgers University, um, and I was in high school, you know, I played marching band, and so marching band was free, you know, it was a free instrument. Uh, I didn't come from, you know, I came from a lower class situation, and it was beautiful, and I'm proud of it, and basically it, it, it inspired me to, you know, well, it kind of kept me using free situations, so in marching band we ended up learning, you know, the group of people we hung out with just danced a little bit, so I social dance, but I didn't pay much mind. Uh, and then I went to college for public relations. And then I went backpacking for three for for three months. And during that time period, I was always social dancing. So I taught in Turkey and then I was teaching in New Jersey, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So uh, basically I had a hunger to to express myself via music. And I always had loved the arts, the fine arts. And so I basically the first thing I could do was was dance. It was free, right? So uh, I I inevitably started learning how to freestyle dance and train with people underground. And that uh, started opening me up to people in the industry who didn't work in the commercial field that just kind of inspired the commercial field and worked in the commercial field. So I started getting involved in projects and working with a free hip hop dance company. So I pretty much put my degree to the side and I took a, a risk and jumped into the, the performing arts industry. Uh, and I would crash an audition here and there and eventually I started booking and I, I just started booking gig to gig as a dancer and then my name would get around and then I started doing theater and I started training in theater and then I, I ended up picking up more dance, more acting and more vocals and, and taking opportunities and learning and growing and performing in that field as, as, an, as an actor. And then uh, since then it's just been kind of an accumulation. But, but honestly how I got to this field is my, my desire to to innovate, and that was through choreography, and eventually I realized it's through acting and writing as well. So um, that's the beginning steps, which kind of bloomed, and now I'm in a situation where I am now where I act and I choreograph. And right now I'm at Dupre teaching, and I'm in a Broadway musical called Hamilton. I also understudy the lead role of Hamilton, and I have a, a part called Charles Lee where I'm an actor, but I'm one of the featured dancers of the show, and I contribute to choreography. So kind of my story is a big melting pot because. Uh, I'm not satisfied with one thing, I just want to express myself in all of them. And that's probably what informs my choreography to be so um, uh, unique and diverse. And uh, similar to, I think, you know, Fosse used his weaknesses and he, and he trained on them and he made them something special in his hands and, his, and where he wore his hat. And I kind of don't have classical training, but mm, my desire to express myself comes in so many fields that I'm not a. I, 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 embark on going in the field where I would express myself in that form, but I, I don't use their movement, I use my movement, and it's kind of created uh, what I 
the movement I do, which I just call urban movement, but it's under an umbrella term uh, of a, a creative space, an artistic space called artistic space called the grit, which mm -hmm. means trigger human emotion, and that's kind of what emulates my movement. And, uh, if you look on YouTube or online, you'll see a variety of different ways where you go, "What is that?" And it's kind of what I've created. I'm not calling it anything else besides urban movement at the moment because I think that's what encapsulates it. We're here to, to make history. And as a dancer, you have to embrace your individuality in order to resonate because there's only one you. That's what I view to continue forward. Especially someone who didn't train in the classical arts and had a structure as to what to obey. Sure, I a technique in hip hop, but it also in, in, encourages freedom of expression in your own voice. So I would say, and it's something I remind myself, that the quote for dancers or artists in general is to pretty much live or die by your personal voice. Mm -hmm.